Hey guys, this is Abby, and in this video I'm going to be talking about what to do with your pet when you go away on vacation or whatnot. Firstly, day trips. For day trips, you really don't have to do anything extra for your pet. If you leave, say, early in the morning and you're coming back that night sometime, just take care of your pet how you normally would. Maybe you have to do the times a little bit different, but just making sure they're good before you go and then taking care of them when you come back. If it's just the day, then it's fine. But any more than being gone for a day, you should have a pet sitter, a friend, or a family member to come over and take care of them at your house or take your rabbit over to a friend's or family members. And another option would be taking them to a boarding place at a vet or somewhere else. As for weekend trips, if you're only going to be gone for a night or two, it might be better to have someone come over to your house to take care of the pet if you can. It's much less stressful on your pet that way. Weekend trips are pretty simple to get ready for. Depending on the size of your hay rack, you can just fill it up and then the person doesn't have to worry about that. And hopefully the cage wouldn't get too messy within one or two nights. If you're going away for longer, say a week or more, it may be better to bring Bring your rabbit over to like a friend's house for them to watch or depending on your age having someone stay at your house to take care of them but whatever the case there are some things you want to make sure of number one is make sure the cage is secure you do not want your rabbit escaping while nobody's home and who knows how long they would be out. It also depends on what kind of cage you have, but just make sure it's secure and that your rabbit won't escape. Another thing is you wanna check over the cage to make sure there's nothing that they're going to ruin or chew too much while you're gone and you can't really supervise them. If there's anything you're unsure about, just leave it out of the cage while you're gone. Now, a great thing to do is lay everything out before you go. Make sure you go over with whoever's taking care of your pet details on what you want, but you also wanna keep it fairly simple. Make sure if there's anything you really want them to remember, then leave a note. When we went on a weekend trip, I left a note out just saying, if the rabbits get out, please do not pick them up. Just chase them or guide them back in the cage. What I do is label everything. I portion out the food, label them. I put the day on. You don't necessarily have to do it, but it just makes it really, really simple for the person to follow and they can just grab it and dump it in the cage. What I do for veggies, is I put a veggie sign in the fridge, put the portioned veggies in different containers, and then mark them with like Thursday morning. And then on the instructions, I just say take veggies out of fridge, dump in cage, put container in sink. Very simple. And I do the same thing for pellets too. I'll take little bags and put portioned pellets in and just write down dump pellets in cage. Go over it with the person and also write out a list and just try to keep it simple as well. Now if you're taking your rabbit to somebody else's house you will need a cage. I used the X-Pen once when I brought them to my brother's house and you will also need to bring anything else they need as well. This makes taking them somewhere a little bit more difficult than having someone come to your house but it is a good option. As for traveling in a car it's good to have a cat carrier put a towel and stuff some hay in and because rabbits don't drink water very often it's most likely that you won't need to provide water but if it is a really long car ride when you stop somewhere you can offer water and see if your rabbit would drink it now lastly for boarding at like a vet or somewhere else maybe a business or something i don't have any experience with that and every place is going to be extremely different so that's really up to you whether there is a place for you to do that and if you want to and if you feel comfortable with that so anyway guys that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll be seeing you in my next one so i don't know how my birthday got on famous birthdays but somehow it's up there if some one one of you did that then thank you uh go check it out it's kind of cool um <laughs> anyway.